Welcome to Buy, Rent, or Sell, where we put classic gaming controllers head to head and rank them according to our favorites. This month, it's a battle of the controllers, Nintendo GameCube, Xbox 360, and the PlayStation 2. Which one is a must buy? Which one is worth a rent? And which one would we sell off? Each of us will share our rankings, but trust us, you'll want to stick around until the end to see where we all land. Some of these might surprise you. And with this month's uh, Buy, Rent, or Sell, we are going to do the Nintendo GameCube controller. We're focusing on controllers. Nintendo GameCube controller, the PlayStation 2 controller, and the Xbox 360 controller. I know they're kind of not all from the same generation, but I you gotta give to... Xbox a fair shot, bro. If you yeah. put the Duke, it's what do you gonna mean? lie. The Duke's it, the best, yeah. bro. No one's gonna pick the Duke. More like the Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> I like Dookie, Dookie by Green Day. Really take it back. Well, Dookie by it Green Day shot. is a great album. Do you have the time to listen to me whine? Um, so with that, we I I you know what? I'll just get started since I passed it on the first time. And uh, I will say, do I even typically have my GameCube here? Um, I don't have it. I moved it from my tripod. But Sam, being a GameCube fan, I do not believe that. This is a cheat code for me, dude. But because of that, I'm going to first start with um, my... <laughs> my God. <laughs> the, <laughs> with the rent one. Um, audio listeners, if you guys can't see, Isaac's got some weird camera set up where if he does a thumbs up it's just fireworks in his background so he's just i just got actual fireworks in my room guys i, I got a pyro technician to set up in the background of my yeah. setup so we got a, you got a that law school money now so of course we got a high budget here in the game boys um but with i'll first, first get started with my rent um choice and i think honestly I, a lot of people hate me for this a lot of people hate me either way no matter what but i am going to pick the Xbox 360 is a rent, dude. It's 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 hard, dude. Every I, I no one I've ever talked to said they said that the Xbox 360 controller sucks, dude. It's kind of like there's a. I mean, I guess with the DualShock PlayStation, dude. There's a reason why the controller. Oh, Leo, Leo. <laughs> um, the Xbox 360, I think, is up there as like one of the best, best to do it the first time, dude. Um, but I, the only reason why is just because the GameCube controller for me is such, so nostalgic and it's so weird and it works so well in a way that it's very, from a user, uh, experience perspective, the A button is so huge and they map all of the primary actions to the A, the B button smaller, the X and Y buttons are like really weird whenever you first look at it, but it works so perfectly. Um, the one gripe I would have about the GameCube controller is if I, could go back in time and let Nintendo know to add something is to add like a separate like a Z L button or something. They have that now on the Switch, but they they only had a Z button on the right side. Which going back to it and playing other games, it feels kind of weird with when you compare it to a modern controller. Um, but with that, that's going to be my buy um, uh, choice, and then that leads that I think. People are going to hate me more for this, actually, for my freaking PlayStation 2. I'm going to have to sell it because I never grew up with PlayStation. I never had a PlayStation console growing up. So the two joysticks just being in the same place ain't it for me. G. And that's all I will say, dude. I, I A lot of people are going to roast me for that. They're like, oh, dude, that's superior. You freaking are dumb, Sam. I'm going to freaking fart on you. <laughs> <laughs> I can fart on you regardless. And Isaac just farted, so. But yeah, I think those are my choices. I am Sam. I am going to bu buy the Nintendo GameCube controller. I'm going to sell the uh, PlayStation 2 controller and I'm going to rent the Xbox 360 controller as my final choice is locking it in. And with that, um, let me know in the comments if you guys agree with me or if you guys think I'm dumb. Uh, with that, I'm going to pass it on to Nicholas. So this one was really hard for me. To be honest, because I have a, a fond mem I have fond memories of all these consoles. I've owned a 360, I've owned a PS2, and I've owned a GameCube. Um, so putting these, picking these in order and getting rid of one of them was very, very difficult for me. Um, that said, I'm going to start with my rent as well, similar to Sam. Um, I love the GameCube controller. I am going to rent it though, Ooh. and I'll tell you guys why. <laughs> um, I, have this I was not I have, expecting that. I have this connected to my computer right now. I'm all, I'm like, my computer is pretty much a slippy machine. Like, 
that's pretty much what I use it for whenever I have time. Um, the reason being, honestly, I love it. I think it's the most comfortable controller to me personally, like period. And whenever it works, it works so well. Like with Melee, you can't, you, to me, you can't play Smash without a Smash controller. Uh, a GameCube controller, I see, I call it a Smash controller. It's not even a GameCube controller, it's a Smash controller. Playing, playing, you know, um, Mario Kart Double Dash and um, Super Monkey Ball with this controller with the analog is just like perfect. But honestly, the thing I dislike about the controller the most is the C-Stick. Like for Smash, and I was thinking about this, like how I, how would I, uh, how I would articulate this. Like for quick movements, the C-Stick is great when you're doing aerials and Smash. But when you're using it for like as a camera control, um, like a Metroid or like like any Zelda or something like that, I hate how small it is. It's like to me, other con- the other controllers do it better for using dual stick movement. Um, for like FPSs, like this to me is just not a good controller for FPSs or things of that matter. But when it works, to me, it's the like my, my favorite controller. But because of that, I because it's not as versatile as some of the other two as the other two in my opinion. I had to put it as my rent. Um, even though I think definitely it's the most comfortable for me personally. And then um, for my buy, I'm honestly going to go to 360. Um, Not to say that the PS2 controller isn't amazing. There's a reason why the form factor remains the same, even to like the PS5. I know the PS5 is a little bit more bulky. (laughs) And I, oh man, I'm going to get beat up after this one. (laughs) Um, You know, okay. I'm just going to straight out say it like it's a good controller. Like I played a ton of games with the PS2. I just think that the like if I'm comparing it to the Xbox 360, I don't like how the analogs are uh, parallel to each other. Like what I'm saying, I prefer, bro. I prefer them being separated. Um, and I think because that I think the Xbox 360 works better for me. And I just think the Xbox 360, honestly, I think it's the best controller ever made. Like, it's just, Ooh. it's damn good. They got it right. And like going from the Duke, which is this just big, huge, humongous thing to the 360, it just like, they just night and day, such a difference. I think, you know, I even, I even have a 360 controller to this day. Whenever I play computer games, like, the, you know, I usually use my 360 controller um, just because, you know, it's, I just like the form factor. I like how it's not too bulky, but it's not too thin. And um, it's just a really good controller. Um, and with that said, I don't think the PS2 controller is by means a bad controller at all. I, you know, I played a ton of games on the PS2, like San Andreas. I probably put so many hours into that game and all the Grand Theft Autos and, you know, all the great games that were on the PS2. So it's no by, by no means a bad controller at all. So um, it was difficult for me, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to sell the PS2, unfortunately. And with that, and I'm gonna, I'm, with that, I'm going to send it over to Isaac. Okay, all you X bros out there, you get ready to get mad. Go get your batteries, go to the dollar store, go to Walmart, Whoa. go buy some Duracells right now, charge up your, take them I out of your remote control going. from your TV right now because all you did was copy the PS2 controller and move the, move one little stick upwards i could do this bro it's not that hard i know you guys don't want them down there next to each other but let me put it like this i get where you're coming from xbox has a very comfy controller but you know what xbox didn't have xbox didn't have games bro (laughs) what am i (laughs) am i gonna am i gonna go play halo 2 right now hell no you know all the games i got you know are now single player classics you know i got some I could go play Shadow of the Colossus. I could go Classic. play Ultimate Spider-Man. You know, Classic. Final Fantasy X. If Double I'm going to go play Halo, what am I going to do? Play by myself? You know, am I going to go play Gears of War by myself? That Those those games are over, bro. Like, you got to put those games away already. The Xbox 360 controller is done, bro. And and, and uh, you, you could have yourself a good little game session. The best part about Xbox that, that was their selling point was that they were having, like, the best online games and the best multiplayer Imagine you're deep in a grind session. You're online. You're cooking. You got like five kills, maybe 10 kills. All of a sudden, battery dead. What are you going to do? You're not at Walmart. You're at your house, bro. You know what I mean? That's it. That's a wrap. You go to 7-Eleven, but I would say this. And I just, and I'm trying to make people mad, but the Xbox 360 is a very comfy controller, but I cannot justify that the base form is battery 
overpowered. I think that's the biggest reason why I got to put it in cell, bro. Oof. Otherwise, I would say if I were to put the Xbox 360 controller, this is a compliment. If I were to put it on any other console, I mean, let's look, let's be real. If you look at the Switch Pro controller, that's the 360 controller. They 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 made a 360 controller. It's a comfy controller. I just I got to put it into cell because of the battery thing. Um, rent, I'm going to put GameCube also for similar complaints that Nick and Sam had already at this point. Um, just in terms of like, I don't like how the C stick is small, but I also don't like how the D pad is small because mm. the, the D pad also takes away from one really cool thing that the GameCube was able to do was the Game Boy Advance player. And if you're going to go ahead and play some Game Boy Advance games, you're usually going to try and use the D pad versus the stick. And it's very, very tiny, man. It looks mm-hmm. like a something you get out of Lucky Charms, bro. Like it's that small. And then I'm I I can I can give them a pass on terms of the layout with A B X Y. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just there. But it's literally one big A button, and then everything else is small surrounding it. I get it. I get it. It's it's comfort, and the way you rest your thumbs, it's right where the A is going to be at all times, which is pretty cool. But I don't love it enough or hate it enough to be like this should be changed i think they should leave it like that but if i were to change anything about the gamecube controllers and like sam said they've changed it and updated it in you know later renditions on the switch and given it the zl zr um i think that the d-pad needs to be bigger and the c-stick needs to be bigger i do think i i get what you guys are saying about the c-sticks on the ps2 i'm going to buy the ps2 controller um it's just sony made it once and realize this is the this is the form, this is our uh, this is our bread and butter, bro. You're gonna go ahead and have them two down there, nice D pad, X square, triangle, circle, L two, R two, L one, R one, and it's just been that same form factor this whole time. I can pick up any PlayStation game from any generation and already be comfortable with the controls because of that. It's just had this consistency throughout. Um, not to say that Nintendo doesn't because Nintendo is very brave. They always change their gimmick, which is pretty cool. Um, but I would like to say this too, because I know I was coming in hard on Xbox. Xbox probably would have been my rent if it weren't for the battery thing. Not going to lie. Yeah. But with that, I'm going to pass it on to Leo because I know Leo's ready to cook. Let him cook. All right. So when it comes to the Xbox controller, great triggers. Great shoulder buttons, great face buttons, great analog sticks. You know what I'm not praising? What? The goddamn D-pad. Oof. One of the worst D-pads in existence. That alone, sell tier. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to mince words. That is what puts it in sell for me. I like myself a good D-pad. That is, like, I know that you guys are saying, like, it's one of the best controllers ever. And it is. And... That is the Achilles heel of the Xbox, alongside the battery thing that Isaac mentioned, which is something I forgot about until he mentioned it. That D-pad is just awful. Now, that said, the next two are not so clear-cut for me as far as the uh, buy or the rent because they both have ups and downs, and they both have things that have been iterated upon since then. Uh, So these rankings could honestly change for me but if I was to put it something into the rent category, I think I'm going to go with the PS2 controller. Not that it does anything inherently wrong. In fact, as Isaac said, when the PlayStation 1 created the framework with the initial just D-pad controller, I forgot what that one's called, and then they went to the... Uh, it wasn't quite the DualShock yet. There was one in between. Uh, then they went into the DualShock. The DualShock was the standard bearer for controllers going forward. Little things here or there modified... Uh, how it would go forward. And the PlayStation 1 got it right. The PlayStation 2 got it even more right. The PlayStation 3 got even more things right, but then changed little things here or there, like the weight distribution that weren't, didn't feel as comfortable. The PlayStation 4 got it super right. And th- like it's just... With that controller, it's not that it does anything wrong. It's just that things have gotten even better since then. And that's why I'm placing it in the uh, rent category. Uh, but... Like I said, on a different day, I could have gone by with this one. Uh, and with that said, uh, something that you guys brought up a lot was analog stick placement. Personally, I'm very give and take on analog stick placement. Uh, when I hold a controller, I generally take it for what it is. And it, I kind of remind myself that 
it follows the conventions of whatever uh, platform it's on. So if it's a Sony console, I know that the dual analogs are going to be right next to each other. If it's Xbox or uh, Nintendo, they're going to be offset. If it's Sega, I wish they were still around. So... <laughs> Um, uh, that thing has never really bothered me as much as a lot of other people, but what puts the GameCube controller in the buy category for me, it is just the most comfortable controller that I've probably ever held. Maybe not necessarily when it's again, when it comes to feature set, because as you guys mentioned, it does need, uh, the other, uh, shoulder button, like a LZ instead of just having the RZ right there. But the triggers on the GameCube are some of the best I've ever felt. Like, they're analog, but then it's got that digital click right at the very end. So the fact that it's got both functionalities there is amazing. With the face buttons, uh, while it's not the most uh, beautiful looking thing out there, functionally speaking, it makes sense. You don't have to look at the controller and you know where B, A, X, Y are. Uh, Analog stick. Also excellent. Maybe the octagonal gate wasn't the best way to go about it, but we were still in the experimental era for analog sticks. The two uh, things that I do definitely agree on, though, when it comes to the flaws of the GameCube, because one thing that I want to mention is that all three of these controllers are flawed. Uh, One is the D-pad, and two is the C-stick. The C-stick, as Nick mentioned, circumstantially speaking, could be excellent, but at the same time, could also be a hindrance. The D-pad is functional, and it's ironic that we mentioned that it doesn't work out well for Game Boy Advance controls because it's the same exact size as a Game Boy Advance D-pad. It's just that uh, within the framework of it being on a full-size controller, it's like, whoa, 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 don't let little bro cook again. Yeah, um, Nintendo cheaping <laughs> out here, bro. It, it's yeah, crazy. like it's I, I think I get had... why they did it, though. It's crazy Sorry, how I had that such a great D-pad on the Super Nintendo controller. And then they're like, yeah. nah, fam, let's just use the Game, Game Boy Advance one. Leo, agree with me here. Every D-pad needs to be the Saturn controller. Yes. Yep. Saturn is the gold standard for D-pads. Uh, right behind both of the Saturn, I have either the PS Vita D-pad or the uh, oh, Neo Geo D-pad. Yes. The Sugma train is rolling. I've so, never played any of those consoles or touched the controllers. So uh, the the Neo Geo one is great because it's micro click, and the PS Vita one is kind of what I consider an in between of the in the micro switch D pad of the Neo Geo and the Saturn's uh, just excellent D pad design. So uh, Sam, grab your Vita real quick and just mess with the D pad real quick. Tell me that does not feel great. Uh, anyways, uh, as far as the controls are concerned, yes, I'm gonna go with buy the GameCube one, uh, rent the PS2 one. Those two could switch off on any given day and sell the Xbox One. And it's funny because none of us are in agreement with uh, this one right here. Uh, and that's something that I definitely noticed because both Isaac and I had uh, the Xbox and sell tier. And uh, Sam and I both had the GameCube and buy tier. But then in between that was a lot of difference. And yeah, those are just my feelings on those three controllers right there. How does no, Carmi control Isaac? How's his D-pad? Let me ask him real quick. What do you think? Audio he says video games not. are for nerds. Oh, yep. Kind of are, but... He's not wrong. That's I choose to be a nerd. I'm going to fight your dog whenever I see it. All right, so Sam, tell me how that PS yeah, Vita D-pad... D-pad honestly, is really good. I love that PS Vita D-pad. Pretty good D-pad. Although these uh, analog sticks kind of suck. Yeah, it's one of those things where... Uh, Take the switch. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like they're like, okay, we have to have analog sticks on a portable, so they're gonna be flawed just by design. That's a Gen Two. Yes, it is. Vita. Yeah, this is Gen Two Vita That's non OLED. I think both all right. models are great. Yeah, uh, honestly, anyway. as as great as the OLED one is, if you were to buy one, get the LCD one, just because the the start, select, and home buttons aren't recessed, so it just makes for a better experience overall when you're in the quick gameplay session. And the charger uses right. a micro USB instead of that weird. That also makes it a lot easier. Instead of proprietary. Yeah. Yeah. And with All that, right. we, you guys heard our voices and opinions on controllers. And let us know in the chat which controllers you would choose. 
um, to buy, rent, or sell the Xbox 360, PS2, or Nintendo GameCube. And if, if you like this video, if you're watching on YouTube, destroy that subscribe button. Um, or if you hate us, then destroy that thumbs down button. And if you want to tell Post me that I suck, comments. yeah, go in the comments and be like, Sam is dumb because he, uh, whatever you want to say, fill in the blank. And if you're and, liking these types of topics, please let us know in the comments what type of topics you'd like for us to cover. And send suggestions for each of these, like buy, rent, sell, or a uh, exactly. cartridge club. We're always open ears. We're always trying to just kind of, well, what we really do is to hang out with each other and have conversations. But also, we want to know what you guys want to hear us talk about. Um, if there's a certain topic or a console or thing you want us to discuss, whether we agree or debate, uh, it, it doesn't cost you anything to throw a comment down. Yeah, I agree. And with that, that is our segment of buy, rent, or sell. I'm going to end cap it with the intro. 